welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new I am going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful granny square today and thank you so much for helping me name it if you want to help me name future patterns then pop over to my community page and you can help me name them there because I pop them up on there and you can help me name the next one anyway let's get into this tutorials so to begin our granny square we're going to make a slip knot and we're going to pop our hook in and then chain up four We're then going to slip stitch to the first chain that we made and this will give us our ring in which we can start making our granny square. Once we've done that we're going to chain up three and this will not count as our first double crochet and we're then going to put 12 double crochets into the ring. Once we've completed our 12 double crochets, we're then going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet that we made. So not the top of the chain, but the top of the first double crochet. And that is round one complete. Now for round two, you can do two things. You can either chain up three, which will count as your first double crochet, or you can do a standing double crochet, which is what I'm going to do here. If you'd like to learn how to do the standing double crochet, I will link to that in the description box below. We're then going to put another double crochet into the same space and that is an increase. We're then going to put an increase in each stitch all the way around. So that's two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. And when you come to the end of this round you should have a total of 24 double crochets. If you've completed all 24 stitches, you're then going to slip stitch to the top of the chain 3 or to the top of your first double crochet. And that is round 2 complete. For round 3, we're going to chain up 1, and this will not count as our first single crochet, and we're going to put one single crochet into the same space. We're then going to chain up 3, 1, 2 and 3, and put another single crochet down into the same space. We're then going to put one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to create our loop again. So we're going to put a single crochet into the next stitch, chain up three, and then another single crochet down into the same space. And you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. And then create our loop stitch again. So we're going to put a single crochet, a chain three, and then a single crochet back down into the same space. And repeat that all the way around. Once you've completed your last single crochet, you're then going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made, and then we're going to fasten off. And this is what you should have so far. So we're now going to grab our next colour, and we're going to attach. So I'm using this lovely light pink colour. I'm just going to create a slip knot, pop it on my hook, and then I'm going to attach it. But first I'm going to loop this little tail end here through the loop that we have. So I'm going to put it through, hold it up, and then put my hook through and pull through again. This way I can crochet over that little tail end and it will stay snug as a bug. So I'm now going to attach my pale pink yarn into one of the chain three spaces from the previous round. 
and I'm going to do that just by slip stitching it on. I'm then going to grab that little pale pink tail end and I'm going to put it between my hook and my working yarn so that I can crochet over it. I'm going to chain up one and then put three single crochets into that chain three space. Now at this point you can either cut these little tail ends off or you can weave them back through a couple of times. I normally like to weave them back through just so that they're snug in there. We're going to chain up eight. And then we're going to skip across to the next chain three space, just here. And we're going to put three single crochets into that chain three space. One, two, and three. And then we're going to chain eight again. And then we're going to skip across to the next chain three space and pop three single crochets into there. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. Once you've completed your last chain eight, we're then going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Now we're on to row five, we're going to chain up one and we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Then we've come to the chain eight space, so we're going to put 12 double crochets into that chain eight space. So you go around the chain and create our double crochets. Once you've completed your 12 double crochets, you're then going to put one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So I'm just going to put one in here and then I'm going to pull my hook out because they're a little bit bunched up and that's fine, that's perfectly normal. So I'm just going to take my hook out and I'm just going to separate them a little bit just so they're nice and even across that chain eight space. I'm then going to put my hook back in and continue with my stitches. So I put one single crochet in, I now need to complete two more single crochets, so one in each of the next two. And then I'm doing my 12 double crochets into the chain eight space again. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So in the chain eight spaces, you'll put 12 double crochets. And in the corners where they've got three single crochets, you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch across. And if you want to, you can wait until the end of this round to just rearrange all your double crochets in the chain eight spaces to make sure they're more evenly spaced. And when you get to the end of this round, you're just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made. For round six, we're going to chain up one, and this does not count as our first single crochet. We're then going to put one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. We're then going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five and we're going to skip the next four stitches and work a single crochet into the fifth. We're then going to put one single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. Once we've completed our 10 single crochets, we're going to chain up five. And then we're going to skip four stitches and work a single crochet into the next. So we're just repeating that all the way around. 
we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next 10, chain 5, skip 4, one single crochet into the 5th, and repeat. When you get back round to the beginning, you should have chained your 5 and you should have 8 stitches left. We're going to skip 4 and work a single crochet into the 5th, as usual, and then you should have 3 stitches left. And you're just going to put one single crochet in each of those 3 stitches. Then we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch that we made to join. And we're going to fasten off. This is what your granny square should look like so far. And remember we are going to be blocking it. So it's going to stretch out nice and flat for us. For the final round, we're going to attach our cream color. So I'm just attaching by making a slip knot popping it on my hook and then we're going to come across to one of the chain 5 spaces. We're then going to just slip stitch our new colour on and I'm going to take that tail end again and put it between my hook and my working yarn so we can work over it. Chain 1 and I'm going to slip that down a little bit so we're right in the corner and I'm going to put three single crochets into the chain five space and three and then I'm going to chain up two one and two and I'm going to go back down into that chain five space and put another three single crochets so we're creating our new corner I'm then going to work one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches so that's all the way across the side and I've got this little tail end here, so I'm just going to work over that as well. Once I've completed my 11 single crochets, I'm then going to work into the chain 5 space and I'm going to be creating my new corner. So I'm going to put three single crochets into the chain five space, then chain two, one and two, and then I'm going to put another three single crochets into that chain five space. And then I'm just going to be repeating that all the way around. So in the next 11 stitches, I'll put one single crochet in each, and then when I get to the corner, I'll put three single crochets, a chain two, and then three single crochets. So repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the beginning. And I've just finished my last single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet I made and then fasten off. And there you have it guys, that's what your little granny square should look like. Remember to block it so that it gives it more of a professional finish as well. Um, and let me know in the comments what you'd use this square for, it's absolutely stunning. I think it would look lovely as a blanket for summer. And remember guys to like, comment, subscribe and share and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.